Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my reviews. As many of you will know that I just came back from New Zealand and yeah, pretty much I'm a bit late to the party as well. Uh, Theorhythm Final Fantasy actually came out in Japan probably like two months ago. And I thought might as well just do a little quick review and gameplay mechanics of this game while before it's released in the States. I think it's coming out with Kingdom Hearts. So should you get this one or should you get Kingdom Hearts? Well, hopefully my reviews will help you make your decision. Anyway, uh, everybody will know that Theorhythm Final Fantasy is a music game, so this will actually help you solve the dilemma of it already. If you like music games, this could be a good choice. If you don't like mu music games, then of course Kingdom Hearts will be the best choice. Um, the back of the cover, not, nothing much. Uh, you will see that the front cover you will get one of each, you know, a little portrait of all the main characters from the series. Very cute. On the back it says local, uh, local play, local play, with one, uh, pretty much one card. You can support up to two to four players with one cartridge. There is an internet play, so there is internet play, and there is street pass, um, street pass for this game. There are two safe slots, and of course there is 3D effect, but I'm not too sure. I have actually used it because it's a music game. So anyway, the inside of the case, this is what the game looks like. Very nicely designed. Uh, I mean, the cover is really well done. I like it. And of course, instruction manual, you actually get a book. So, I know a lot of people were complaining to me about, oh yeah, you don't really need a page, but never mind. Um, it is a book and it does feel quite solid, so don't mind me there. And of course, inside you get these little portraits if it's going to... Yeah, look at that, this cloud and school and all that, cute. To be honest, I'm not much of a Final Fantasy... Uh, I, aim, I am a bit, I only played 6, 7, 8 and 9. I stopped at 10 because I never liked Tidus. I don't like his character design. And pretty much I bought 13, which was terrible. So anyway, enough of me. Uh, I'll just put the game in. Ah, nice music. Uh, it's a bit. It's gonna be a bit hard to review this game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna explain to you what the game, like what kind of gameplay will be. Uh, this game you will need the stylus, so you won't actually use any of the buttons. Okay, so let's get in there. Seeming a reflection. Okay, so I'm not too sure about the um, the US release, but on the Japanese one, there is actually purchase music icon. So if I click on that, it's probably going to take me to the eShop. Two slots. So I've only been playing for 4 hours, so let's go with that. So you, you can choose, there are 3 options pretty much. One is a um, music game, and one is Tsubarakai Tonshin, which is a um, street pass, and this is a new museum. So this is like all the achievements that you collected. So of course, let's go with music game. So this one, you can choose series or challenge, or even chaos. And on the top screen, they will just show you the characters that you have, and I'll be explaining a bit more about that. So I'm going to turn the music down a bit, so it doesn't override my voice. So let's go to series. This is like the, the main part of the game. So, okay, I have actually done, done it. Let's still go, I'll just explain to you. Okay. So here, you will actually choose from Final Fantasy 1 to 13, the different music, um, different stages. And if you actually choose one, let's go with number 7, and on the top, it will actually give you three stages. There will always be a field stage, one will be an um, EMS stage, which is like a, mu um, a movie stage, and one is the battle stage. 
the opening and ending, you really there isn't an, any game of it. And of course, this is the ranking that you have done. So I will show you what. Okay, uh, before I show you the gameplay and all that, I'll just tell you. I'll just run you a bit through about um, the other configuration. So of course, you can choose your own party. So let's have a look at the party members. So this is actually my current party member. And um, what happens is this is change party member and change equipment. You can actually change equipments in this game. There is a bit of a RPG context in it. So let's say that if you want to change party member, it will actually let you choose all the party members from each of the... Oh, well, there are some unlockable ones that you need to do. Uh, so let's say if you want to change to that, and you will see that, okay, at the moment, Lightning is level 37 with the HP, the uh, Chikaro and Kyoku and all that, that's like magic and strength and all that. And this is her equipped um, abilities. And of course, Van, he's level 1 with the low HP of 228. And of course, all this, because I haven't used him yet, all the stats are actually really, really low. And of course, you'll see that he has nothing equipped. So that said, I don't want to change character. And it goes back and it, I can see my stats and all that. And this is item, any item that she uses. This is like Thunder, Chikara no Uta, this is a, a song of strength or something. And you will see that this, this here is like a CP value. Uh, as she level up, your max CP value actually go up. And each of these slots will actually take a certain CP value. So once, as your character grow, you will you can equip more better um, abilities which will help you in the game like let's have a look let's have a look at change uh, change equipment so that's like okay this is like it tells you like the slots like what I just explained and this is here so let's say that if we use thunder that's like CP cost of um, CP cost of seven. So what that means is that the BMC So there's like um, what happens is that if you can get good twenty times, like the beat twenty times, something will happen. Like uh, it will it will do well probably like damage, lightning damage or something like that. I haven't actually looked through it yet, but I know that it, it works like that. So let's say that we want to use like we want to change this one. Oh, sorry. Let's say thunder. There is cure. So cure is that uh, it will happen once your HP gauge goes under seventy-five percent, and it will it will activate once. And of course, then that this will let you recover ten HP. So it's sort of, yeah, you will see that the RPG element is a bit there. So let's not do that. Alright, that's, and pretty much that's for each character. You can equip and make your own little team up, which is quite cute. So let's go into a game, shall we? Um, what I will do is I'll just play through a series. And it will actually just show you the three... Um, the three type of games for it. So let's say which game will we like. Let's go with Final Fantasy VIII. That's the game that this was actually my first Final Fantasy. So of course the game, and let's go into play. So there's like the beginning. It just tells you like the story and all that you can play if you want, but you don't have to. I'm just going to list it out here. This is the field. The, the field. So you can see that with the field here, all you need is just tap on the bottom of it like that. And then drag it on. So I'm just playing it on what looking at the camera, so there's a bit of lag here. And then you can slash.
Overall, this the field system is really good. I, I do like it. It is really fluent. You won't um, the probably the only little problem that I have is that sometimes the slashing, like if you slash down, the DS might not pick up, especially on the harder levels where there's like slashes everywhere, and then you'll you'll just find yourself frustrated because you sometimes do do it, but it won't activate it. It won't recognize it. But overall, really fluent, very smooth, very solid. And you can tap anywhere on the DA screen, you don't have to follow it, you just, all you need is just look at the top screen. And it is actually real, na uh, really natural that you can actually just play the game without looking at the bottom screen at all. And of course you can see just underneath cloud, there is like a little bar, the music bar here. It shows you how long the, the song actually is. And then sometimes you get items, depending on how well you do. So Mog just gave me an item. And this is the end of the level. And then, oh, Cypher gave me an item too. And then of course it shows the stats, I'll just let it focus again. And then it will just give you the EXP of all the characters, you get 500. And then just... And you can see on the bottom screen all the stats. No? No more. And then the item that you get. And that's the total points of your, uh, it's called re uh, Rizupom. And then you get like extra uh, additional points on it. And then depending on the, it's like a milestone. So, see, after I got 8,500, it actually gave me another piece. Once I collect all the pieces, I assume that it will unlock a character. So let's go to the next level. It saves each game. So, this is the event music. So, it's similar to... So, this is like watching a movie, and it's similar to the feel. So, you just play on the screen. You just tap it. Hold it down, and then just slide it down. You don't have to move with you don't have to move the stylus. Like holding it is just holding it down. See the slash? I can't get it to uh, to register sometimes. This is this one is actually really simple as well. I would say it's it's quite good for people who haven't played Final Fantasy before because it does give you a lot of the insight of on what the game is about, and um, it is really good for Final Fantasy fans as well because it's like a little collection of the childhood games that you played. I remember when I was in um, still studying when, when I first played this part of the game. I was like, wow, the graphics were so awesome. So, it's like, yeah, a little reminiscence. Oops. How we get an A for this? And then this part is called the Feature Zone. If you can get everything here right, then you'll get an additional extended movie. So this is for you to get actual uh, additional points. If you didn't, if you got a mistake there, then the game will just end. Um, the stage will just end straight away. So this is just to get the grades. I'll probably get a B or something because, like, if you make like at least two mistakes, then that's. <laughs> Automatic A. 
Uh, normally, you, if it, if you get over 70 or uh, 700 7 million points, then you'll get an S. So this would be a B. Yeah. And lastly, the battle music. The battle music is probably the hardest one. All you need to do is just look at the four here. And again, you just tap it. You don't need to you don't need to shift, just tap the center, it will be fine. But you just have to keep an eye on all four slots. And then you can see that there's an HP gorge on the top. So that's what I mean by like if you if you get a miss or something, then the enemy will attack you, and then what happens is that you will lose some HP. Once the HP is gone, then yep, that's pretty much game over. So this is the RPG element of some stats, which will enable you to like cure some HP or probably like absorb less damage if you get bad or something. And then this section here, where you see the uh, white, the gray ball, is the summoning. So if you can get this right, the feature zone, then you will actually summon. See, so it becomes one, and it'll just like make it easier for you. And the summon will always kill the enemy that it's facing. This is actually on easy at the moment. It's, uh, the game is really simple uh, on, on, on the normal, on the easy to, to, uh, difficulty, and it's actually really easy as well on the uh, what, what's it called on the normal setting. And hard is actually quite difficult. So you can see that I got damaged, so I'll just get damaged a bit more. See, it will always take my my HP down. And then once you start chaining again, the enemy will start will stop attacking and you'll start attacking again. So this is pretty much the battle scene. After you play the series, it will give you the grade. I'll probably get a B because I was killing myself. And it will give you a final grade depending on the three levels that you played. One, two, three. Well, after this, sorry. Oh, okay, ending thing. So this is like the ending thing. We can just tap it and then go, ooh, yay. So, kind of boring. Very pointless in my opinion because you can tell that they were totally just slacking off. So see, SBB and then overall course B. <laughs> Not good. So here, uh, let's go back to the series. I'll show you a bit of a hard, uh, like if you think that was quite easy, I'll just show you a bit of a hard one. So you can go into challenge mode, which you can play the song singly. You can see the easy 100% complete, 15% complete for normal, and 5% complete for hard. So we can go in there and let's just pick a music, shall we? Um, let's go to, what well, battle music is good. Well, let's go with um, 8 again, since you saw the battle music in... Oh, uh, wait, let's go for 9. 9. 9 was pretty good. So over here, you can choose what you want. You want battle, you want um, world overworld, or you want the event. So let's go to battle. And let's choose hard, shall we? Yeah, hard. That's how we roll. I'll probably get owned, but I'll just this is just to show you what the battle will be like. I'll turn the music up.
<laughs> Game over. Oh, see, I, I did it the first time I played this stage, so I'm gonna try again. Got an F because I did not clear. <laughs> so I can go again, and it will just show you like oh, the second time that you played. Oh no, that actually doesn't tell you that. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> oh my god, that was hard. Okay, so that's... I did better than before, but... At least I got a D. But, okay. So let's go back. So there's one more mode that I'll be telling you. So I don't like to see myself in the reflection. The chaos, um, the chaos stage. So this one... I'm not, I'm actually not too sure about this, it's like a multiplayer, but you can play single player and then it'll just give you like a list of um, random songs, like you'll have one as battle, oh, field and then one as battle and as you unlock or use street pass, you actually get access to other people's one so like, I've got like number 34, number 34, number 20, 28 and all that so, it's a bit of like a extent to the game so, that's pretty much it Alright, so this is uh, Theor Rhythm Final Fantasy. Uh, should you get it, I would say only if you like music games. If you don't like music games, then don't touch this game. If you enjoy like Beat Elite Agents or Onsen Dan back in the DS era, then definitely get this because this is pretty much the new Beat uh, Elite Agents are for the 3DS. Uh, a bit of problem I had with the game is that I find it pity that there's only three music per series. So there's like 13 games times three. There's only like 39 songs uh, in total. And to be honest, the, the music, as you can hear, a lot of the music are just loops. And it actually gets worse for Final Fantasy 1 to 6 because of the, six, uh, the 8 and 16 bit era. The music just keeps looping and looping and looping. And you are playing the same stage for like two minutes and something, there isn't much variety. I don't like how you have to pay money, extra money to download songs. Um, I would, I thought it would have been a little bonus if Square would have just given you the songs on the, um, on like a day, not, not like daily basis, probably like a weekly basis. That would actually be really, really cool. Other than that, it is a good game. I probably wouldn't pay over 30 bucks for it. I'll probably wait until someone finishes it, sells it for cheap on second hand, on eBay or something, grab it and don't grab it brand new. Get Kingdom Hearts instead. Kingdom Hearts is so much better. And so worth the money. But that's my opinion. If you don't like RPGs and you like music games instead, this is a good game. But you'll probably get bored of it quite fast. Uh, I bought it and as you can see in the beginning of the video I showed you that I have only been playing it for 4 hours and after that I actually never touched this game again. Probably because I've been too busy but I'm not too sure. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed my little overview of the game and the game is coming out soon. 
So if it helps you decide your purchases, then I'm happy that I have helped. Um, other than that, everybody stay frosty, and I will see you all soon.